Lexus has just come out with a radical, crazy, futuristic concept, not all that much different than the LF30 that we got back at this past Tokyo Motor Show. If you're new to the channel, my name's Kirk and I talk about Toyota and Lexus vehicles. That is my specialty. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, smash the subscribe button and like button while you're at it. And let's get into this Hikari concept. Over at yankodesign.com, a shape-shifting Lexus concept inspired by the Japanese principle of light. And of course you can see the shape-shifting in action there. Named as the Lexus Hikari concept, the design plays with light and its impact on design. Hikari literally means light in Japanese and the designer in this case was exceptionally inspired by the architectural classic, the White House U by Toyo Ito. What intrigued the designer, Hagzeng E. Leo Pan, is the way the U-shaped courtyard created an intriguing play of light within the house. It is the contrast of light and shadow that is incorporated into this concept and it is truly mesmerizing. There are two main forms of the car's exterior, one that allows light and the other that restricts light. Simple as that. The exterior was imagined using Toyota Gossier's e-rubber, a next generation material that holds together a surface while allowing it to bend without any visible creases. Flexible nature of the e-rubber lets exterior change and control the amount of light passing through the oval structure of the transparent roof. This directly affects the user riding in the car, creating a harmonious connection between the exterior interior of the car and its user. All of it using the principle of light. This seems to be an autonomous, driving vehicle so the car holds ample space for the users with the motor at the front, hydrogen tank at the tail end, and the bottom is lined with fuel cells. And if you were hoping the spindle grille was going to be put aside in future vehicles, rest assured it's here to stay. The concept holds true to the assertive l finesse design philosophy with its spindle grille shape connecting the four tires. With no visible doors and windows, it is the roof of the car that controls the ambience. Expand the exterior to cover the roof and limit the light, letting the rider rest in a comforting shade. If you close the exterior, the rooftop gets exposed, creating a bright, sunny ambience inside, making the interior comfortable to work, study, or even have a meeting. Lexus Hikari tries to develop and maintain the same principle connection between all things man-made and natural, playfully interacting to deliver a calm, focused, and balanced experience to the user. We'll just finish up looking at some of the pictures here. I mean, the whole car is a spindle grill, and that is what I feel like ties it most to the LF30, the electrified concept that we got back at the Tokyo Motor Show. But I feel like it's definitely a bigger vehicle, much longer. And it is weird seeing a vehicle, or at least a, it's almost like a boat because it doesn't have any creases for doors or panels because it's all one piece of this e-rubber. Side by side here, you can see the limiting of the light and then the opening of light. Um, I wonder how this plays with the aerodynamics of the vehicle. Imagine having these really high pieces here and you get a crosswind. That doesn't, it doesn't sound that aerodynamic, um, but I'm sure the vehicle molds its shape for efficiency as well, not just allowing for light. I thought this picture was extraordinarily interesting, right? Cause there are no doors. So the material has the ability to shape itself in a door. Looks really, really weird, but what do you guys, <laughs> what do you guys think of the rubber, the rubber Lamborghini doors there? It seems like it has polarizing glass as well, which they don't talk about. So I don't know why you would necessarily need to have a shape-shifting car in the future just for light. I see, I, I guess it's more of a, a design or an inspiration design right by that White House U, where like in the future, you're just gonna have polarizing glass and you can control how much light you want to come in anyways. And this thing does look really big. I mean, there's no steering wheel, there's no panels or, or buttons or pedals or like, there's just nothing in here other than a massive cockpit. You know, if you do need to take a nap in it, if you're on a long distance drive, you can go ahead and do that. Now, what would, <laughs> you can also have projector here, um, with your own screen inside the vehicle. Here's the evolution of the clay models that they came up with, with the final one looking most Batman-like. And I think, I honestly think the wheels are the most beautiful part to this entire concept. What do you guys think? What's your favorite part of this concept? The shape shifting? My, my favorite part's definitely the wheels. And from the side, 
There's no denying this thing looks sick from the side. From the back, it looks really weird. It looks a little alien to me. Uh, the front looks okay. It's just like a big spindle grill, but an entire vehicle. Potentially, if, if they make the spindle grill the entire front end of the vehicle, I think it looks better than the current spindle grill in some ways. It's definitely a radical design for sure, but man, those wheels are just beautiful. So what do you guys think of this Hikari concept? There's some aspects of it that I really like, but I mean, it's so far-fetched that I don't know if we'll see anything translate from this. Maybe 10 years from now when we have electric vehicles, they don't need, necessarily need to have porous grills or anything like that. And it's quite possible that the LF30 may have been made after this concept. This is the first time I've seen this. I tried to do some deep research and I couldn't find anything on it older than about two days ago. So thanks again for watching the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.